Hello YouTube, happy Monday, it's your main man BTM here, coming back at you on the Black Tiger Minor YouTube channel. And if you get a chance, sign up for the Twitter page. But this is a video about lithium and this gold shell miner. So gold shell gave us the announcement, a new miner launched on 815, which is three days from now just in time for our fifth anniversary, experience the perfect blend of power, silence, and home mining with exciting giveaways and more. Get ready for the future with our latest innovations. Stay tuned. So this says Alethium Caspa Gold Shell Miner. So I don't know if it's going to be an Alethium Miner or a Caspa Miner, but this is Echo. Are you ready for a new Miner series? Personally, I don't have any gold shell miners. I had one uh, Dodge miner and it was too, uh, I guess, and the yield wasn't that good. And the prices on gold shell are crazy ridiculous. So I don't know, but you can see here in the picture, it looks like it's kind of long, right? Because they blurred it out. And their current model is this, a uh, gold shell box, which is 2700 And again, gold shell kind of price gouges, because this is ridiculous. Why is this 2700 and this is 1300 for a box miner, right? A gold shell AL box and an AL box two. But I think they're trying to compete with Ice River, and clearly Ice River is blowing them out the box, because this is sold out, right? They're still selling these guys. And this is the Gold Shell KA Box Pro, which is $629. And this is $799. And the resale value of these guys I've already seen are over $1,000. So I might see wait till Gold Shell or wait till Ice River comes out with another batch and just monitor Gold Shell. But I would definitely like to see what this is and how much it's pricing. I'm pretty sure it's going to be over um, four or $5,000 because that's kind of the way uh, gold shell prices stuff, right? Even this mini Dodge is $700. I don't know why a mini Dodge miner is almost $800, right? This is gold shell and ridiculous with these prices. These ASIC miner companies are gouging miners, right? They're just squeezing us. I guess trying to squeeze us out of mining or trying to make it where the home miners don't get in because it's not profitable. But uh, we're going to keep mining, right? These guys can't shut us out the market. We're going to keep mining and keep uh, buying and keep the home mining business going. But with the ASIC, that means the GPUs are not mineable because the ASICs are so powerful. So I think they kind of push these ASICs to keep us from GPU mining. So we got to get in the ASIC business and the ASIC business is expensive, right? I don't know why uh, all of a sudden these prices went crazy. So let me check, let's play this real quick. Comparing Caspa and Alethium, Caspa hit almost a $5 billion market cap. Alethium is sitting at just $175 million. There's plenty of room for growth. People love the cryptocurrencies that they can mine. And once adoption starts to happen for Alethium, I can see this price easily hitting $30 to $50 this bull run. So possibly $30 to $50. So mining it would definitely be to your benefit. It's not financial advice. This is just for entertainment purposes. Currently, lithium is $1.57, market cap $133.8 million. In the last hour, it's up 1.74. 24 hours is up 0.77. Seven days is up 13.31. Uh, 30 days is up 51.7. 90 days is down 6%. For the year, it's up 400, 433.9%. Uh, total supply is only 200.5 million. So I'm definitely picking some more of this up. 24 hours low is 1.44 and the high was 1.57. So let me know what you guys think about a lithium and a lithium mining. So here is the big boy on the block, this AL1 Pro, which is about $30,000. 
but it's bringing home $394 a day. I don't know, but that price tag's too much, and they hadn't even started releasing them yet. Uh, this is the Bitmain AL1, which is bringing home about $371, and it's already out. So I suspect the price on this is going to go down when this one comes up. So I might look into this, but I still think this is around uh, 30 something crazy, right? Yeah, still $30,000, way out of my price range. Um, consumption is 3,510 3, watts, and profitability is $381.29. After electricity, it's 371. Uh, which brings that to 137000 And there's pretty profitable for the miners sitting in your garage, right? I don't know about the $30,000 price tag, but it's weird. It's like these guys are trying to push us out of home mining, right? Why are you making a $30,000 a freaking uh, ASIC miner when we could GPU mine this and make a pretty good profit? So I don't know. What's up with the greed from these guys with these ASIC miners and the ASIC miner companies? So I did pick up this Alethium AL0. So I'm done going to do an unboxing whenever this comes in. 300 gigs at 100 watts, uh, $10 a day roughly. And this actually is better than the Gold Shell. So personally, I like Ice River over Gold Shell. I have plenty of Ice River miners. And... Uh, I told you I had a bad experience with the gold shell, and people do complain some of the gold shell arrived dead on arrival. So I don't know. Let me know what you think, gold shell versus ice river, but we're rolling with the ice, baby. Um, income is $9.78 after electricity, $9.49 for the year. This bad boy makes 3518 before electricity, after electricity, 3,461. So they have not started shipping these yet. They're supposed to start on the 15th, but I'm definitely gonna do an unboxing when I get mine. And let me know, what is this DCR? Interesting. But let me know what you guys think. They're about $700. Hopefully the price goes down in the next batch and we can pick some more up. But let me know what you guys think about these miners and this new announcement from Gold Shell. And if you guys even like Gold Shell, I personally don't really care for Gold Shell, but um, that's just me and my personal opinion. This is not financial advice. This is just for entertainment purposes. And let's see if we can go back here and look at the, I think I'll do another video on Casper, but we're looking at the, Alethium miners, this gold shell box, which gets $16 a day, 720 gigs, 360 watts. I want to say this thing's like four or $5,000. What is it? Yeah, 3,500 uh, actually. So it's not too bad, but $17 a day, a dollar electricity, so $16 a day, uh, yearly 6,333. After electricity, 6,044. So let me know about the profitability of this box as well. But this is a short video, just trying to do some mining information and get this announcement out about this uh, Echo box that's coming. And also in the comments, let me know what you think this price is going to be. I think it's probably going to be around four to five thousand dollars, maybe six thousand, because it will be the missing link between the AL box. And the, let me see, the big, bigger miner. So this is like the medium miner. So let me know what you guys think about that. This is Black Tiger Miner signing out. Thanks for your time. And let's get back to the money, guys.